day number two. Two. And we're heading to where are we going? <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's. I feel like when you're in another country, that's like a must because McDonald's in every country always serves something different. So we'll see what they have in South Korea. The <laughs> burger was okay. Uh, what were you saying about the tomato? It like ruins the just like the focus of the flavor of the shrimp. Yeah, it waters it down just a bit. Yeah, I feel like it, next time if I ever order it. The uh, spicy Shanghai. Okay. I'm getting the tomatoes a little. <laughs> it's a little bit like a McChicken. I don't know where the spice comes in yet. Spice. It's like McChicken. It tastes like McChicken. Tomato. Last one is the bulgogi burger, which I. I feel like this is the most stable Korean burger. Like, I've tried the shrimp burger in uh, Japan before. Uh, I just forgot what it kind of tasted like. And the Shanghai burger, I'm going on a limb and pretty sure they have it in Shanghai. But the bulgogi burger. <laughs> Oh, good. Yep. Yep. That's the burger that's the winner. Like, normally it doesn't taste like mayo, but it tastes like mayo. This is Korean already. So now we're at the Samsung Delight store. I think we're gonna go upstairs and look at like all their technology and stuff like that. South Korean people are really prideful on their stuff. And so they're very... <laughs> No, no. And <laughs> so they're very like loyal to their products, which of course being Samsung is like the number one. River. Hopefully we can find one because apparently all the directions aren't too specific where you can find one. Let's see how it goes. And we have a badass over here. then renting a bicycle so we're gonna rent a bike uh, a tandem bike which is a two-seater bike which I've never actually experienced before yep just gonna cross the Hangang River let's go
bike after probably an hour now. Let's get the workout. Here! That's pretty cool. Uh, uphill is kind of the killer. Really stressful in the arm. Apparently we were supposed to go to this place called Mingles. You kind of need reservations because it's one of the top restaurants. So, Asia, Asia. so instead we're going to a restaurant. What's it? Uh, Hamo. Hamo. So we tried a place called Hamo. Uh, that place also you need reservations because it's fully booked. So we're pretty tired, and we're probably just gonna find the next closest food place to eat. We stumbled upon this restaurant, not quite sure what the name is. Uh, outside it said Korean noodles or something. This is the first place we came to where the menu was not in English. So we had like one of the servers come and kind of help trying to decipher the menu, but he doesn't speak quite good English either. So he's kind of like, he would point to an item, kind of show us the pictures. So in the end, we're having uh, like a short rib set. Which is like galbi, half and half of I think cold noodles and well, spicy noodles. I think. I think. We're in a place called Line Friends which they have a cafe and apparently like these signature characters that are so cute. There's bears, there's rabbits, there's some stuff. Green tea Swiss roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, can see you there. Oh. <laughs> 